Hello everyone out there on YouTube. Magic of the internet. Yeah. Uh, this is Supernova Styles and I'm doing a tutorial on French braiding in general. I actually decided to record me giving you guys a tip because it's really important um, when you put your wig on the wig stand before you start or do anything or even begin with the French braid, you always want to take uh, the actual wig stand and the wig head and etc and tilt it back gravity is your friend you don't want to like do what i did um because i lost it was a it was a really epic short battle of five extra minutes trying to deal with actually getting the braid to be you know a braid i don't know a nice smooth beautiful french braid it's easier just to have it fall into place instead of having to tighten it while you're doing it that's, 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 that's gravity, that's physics, that's science, I have to explain shit, that's, there you go, woo, I'm blown, blown, blown. <sighs> Alright, well hopefully this won't be as mind-blowing of a process for you guys, I mean, it wasn't too terrible for me to learn, you just, you know, pretty much separate hair from the crown. And you always want to be really clean about this. Utilize a pick, utilize a comb, utilize telekinesis, if you're using the force or not. <laughs> and then you just segregate it into three different strands. Well, strands, uh, <laughs> three different pieces that are kind of more symmetrical. You throw the right one over the middle, and then you throw the left one over the right one and put it under the middle. And then you put the middle one over and you pull some hairs oh hairs multiple multiple tr trillions of hairs this this is just an amada of hairs you just grab it all you just you just grab it like you like what i'm doing i look like scissors i look like i'm cutting it all off Ugh. and then you kind of brush it out again keeping it clean is really important it keeps flyaways away that was fly a ways away. Keeps fly a ways away. A ways away. <laughs> and then you just continue to, you know, grab from the left side. Uh, you can just probably keep it symmetrical. So keep it about the same amount that you pulled from the right. This is an important feat just to keep the braid looking nice. Um, now we have kind of a redo of what I did at the top. Um, again, just do what I'm doing. I mean, it's a little hard to see, but I mean, A, I, they are sonic because that was, <laughs> that was more important, you guys. I've got priorities. I'm teaching you how to do this through the art of my nook and a hedgehog. That's a feat. Again, separating into three pieces. There's a little bit more that I pulled from the crown this time. You can do that. Um, it's also important to note here that when you push all the hair forward in the Matilda, it's, it's just a wonderful effect because it's curly. So when you cut it, it kind of falls into this beautiful little just whooshy playground of flow that you can just fold on back and kind of you know, slowly style into her hair. I mean, it's it's not necessarily exact, but it's my preference, you know? And I've been told, you know, that people enjoy that as well. Um, you know, I've had princess parties. I've, I've been hired out by princess parties. I've been hired out by a couple companies to do it, uh, you know, so. I mean, my friend Sharon always screaming about how I need to do Disney's wig for their Elsa. That's not, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> I hope not. That would be kind of, I don't even know like what I would do if, the, if Disney like called tomorrow and was like, we threw a dart at a board and it hit your name. And uh, we decided that you should come down and uh, just, just, Style Elsa's wig. Yes. I don't know why I made Disney sound really kind of presumptuous. I don't 
Did, do I subconsciously think that Disney is just full of snots? That'd be... Interesting discovery about myself. <laughs> Especially since I like Disney. Whoa! Controversial. Like Disney? But I might subconsciously think that they're snots. A little complicated. Humans are complicated. This wig is not complicated at this point. There's really not much for me to continue to talk about. I mean, it's, it's you know, es essentially making a braid, but pulling from uh, either side and just going with it. I mean, it's not, ro again, it's not rocket science, but it is what it is. It can be difficult to learn. Uh, it can be taxing to learn. You always, always want to not do what I did here which, while it's better for you guys to see, is not as f efficient. F efficient. Shient. I don't even know what I'm doing right now. Do you guys know what I'm doing? Talking about frozen. Talking about French braids. Talking about cartoons on your head. What if someone was like, you know, gonna go bankrupt and they were like, no, I can't do this because I have like a wig and two kids. And you know, the, the government's like, dude, dude, what? And they're like, no, it's, I, a wig and two kids. The wig's very important. That would be, that'd be something. I think I would laugh. All right, you know, God knows, I think sometimes to myself, these wigs are my babies and I don't want to give them up, which is really weird. But uh, I get over it and mail it out anyway. Um, but hopefully that will be a good representation of what goes on when you make a French braid. There's nothing much else to talk about now, is there? All right. You have a good one. You have two good ones. That's weird. All right. <laughs> Bye.